Welcome to the Faith Lutheran Church Midweek Advent Service for December 18th, 2019. Tonight, Pastor Matt Nolte concludes the sermon series, Come Lord Jesus, and brings us a message entitled, Come Lord Jesus, to him who has come to defeat the devil, based on the reading from Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 through 9 and 18 to 23. Let's listen in. Please pray with me. Come, Lord Jesus, for many are waiting, and not one will be disappointed. Amen. So it is the season of traditions. It is the season in which we remember and we do what we've always done. It's a season in which we pull out the decorations that we've used for years and we, we go to the same parties that we've always attended and we make the same foods on the same days and we, we do the same activities because this is the time of tradition. And those traditions for us are what make the season. Those traditions for us are what gives meaning to what we do during this time. Those traditions for us are what tell us how to mark the days and the hours and to let us know what comes next and to remind us of where we've been. Those traditions are a big part of what we do during the season of Thanksgiving and Christmas. And you could probably even go back as far as Halloween. This is the season in which we have memories. And if we don't do some of those traditions, if we, if we don't have those long honored activities going at this time of year, sometimes for us, it's just not the same because they bring us that meaning. They bring us those values, or at least that's what we think. But sometimes we do the traditions because the traditions are what we've always done. The traditions are the way it goes. The traditions are how things are. And we do the traditions because that's just what you do. And after a while, if you were to be asked why you do those traditions, why it is that you carry out those activities, what is the significance of maybe those certain foods or gatherings, you might not know anymore. It's a lot like the daughter who was finally going to have Christmas at her house. And she was preparing the dinner in the kitchen. And her children were there learning beside her so that they could one day carry on the tradition as well. And she pulled out the Christmas ham. And she whacked the end off of it. And put it in the pan. And her children asked her, Mother, why do we whack the end off of the Christmas ham before we put it in the pan? And she says, it's what I was taught to do. It's what my mother did. It's what we've always done. And the children said, well, why? She said, I don't know. I should go ask my mother. And she walks out into the living room where her mother was taking a break because she didn't have to do the Christmas dinner that year. And she was relaxing on the couch, and her daughter walks up to her and says, Hey, Mom, why do we whack the end off of the Christmas ham before we put it in the pan? And her mother said, It's what we've always done. It's what I was taught to do. It's how you prepare the Christmas ham. Maybe we should go ask Grandma. And so they go to the other side of the room where Grandma is sitting in a chair with a big smile on her face, and they say, Grandma, why don't we cut the end off of the Christmas ham before we put it in the pan? And she said, well, I don't know why you're doing it, but I did it so it would fit in my pan. <laughs> we forget the meanings of the traditions. And the traditions become just that. Traditions. Without any value. Without any meaning. Without any significance. And yet we still hold on to them and we cling to them because it's what we've always done. Not recognizing that they are emptied of their significance. 
that they are emptied of everything that they were meant to bring to us. That they are emptied of their whole purpose in the first place. And when we cling to those empty traditions, those traditions become the idol. And they make us miss the real meaning that is behind everything that we do this time of year. But if that has happened to you, if you can think about traditions that are that way for you, don't fret. It is a toy seeking to pull the joy and the meaning out of your life. It's what the devil does. It is how he works and how he is so effective, especially at this time of year. And we know that's what he does because it's what Jesus says he does in the parable of the sower. The seeds sown along the path where the birds come and gobble them up are like the one who hears, but because he does not know, they mean nothing. Satan comes and he seeks to strip everything that we do and everything that we are of its value, of its meaning, of its significance. So that as we go through the motions and as we move farther and farther down the road and as we continue to cling to our traditions, one day we wake up and realize there's nothing there. And his hope is that when you realize there's nothing there, you'll think there's no meaning at all. And so he makes us forget. And he pulls the value and the worth and the significance out of our lives and out of our actions and out of the very words that our God speaks to us until one day we're awake only to find that it's but an empty and shallow husk of what it used to be. But still, the sower continues to sow. But still, our Lord Christ comes back and He won't let those words just disappear he won't let the meaning and value of your life just be pulled away out from under you. He won't let the devil snatch up the meaning of your life, the meaning that he has put there by what he has done and by what he has spoken. And so he continues to sow his seeds. He continues to bring us his words. And when our traditions have lost their meaning, we return to Him and we ask Him to fill them up. We ask Him to give us even new traditions. We ask Him to revalue our lives. We ask Him to take that empty husk that is what the devil has left us and to renew it by His Spirit and to fill it with His Word, and to bring us back to life. And so He comes, and so He does. And so it is not just that this season, Jesus is the reason for it. It is that this season is given its reason by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the one who comes and who overcomes all adversity and who fights all of our enemies and who wins our battles for us and who continues in His love and His mercy to speak His words to us so that our life might mean something, so that our actions might mean something, so that our words might mean something. And when we find that we don't know what to say, or we don't know what to do, 
where we've lost sight of even who we are, our Lord Jesus Christ comes and he tells you who you are. You are a beloved and forgiven child of God. You are the one for which he shed his blood. Your lives bear fruit for his kingdom and glorify his name. And your words speak the eternal truths of God and bring that forgiveness and that life and that salvation of our Christ to those around us in these dark times. Jesus is not just the reason for the season. Because of his words, because of his life, because of his death, and because of his resurrection, he is the one who brings meaning to all of it. Amen. Thanks for listening to the Midweek Advent Sermon from Faith Lutheran Church in Moore Park, California. For more information, visit us on the web at faithmoorpark.com.